Hello y'all, welcome to part 5 of my Fascist England playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Focus Trees for Releasable Nations. In part 4, the conflict, now known as the British Confederate War, commenced between the Allies and the European Defensive League. I'm pretty sure that's the name, let me check for that faction just to be sure. Let's look at Sardinia Piedmont real quick, yet a European Defensive League. But when that conflict initially began, that war started, it was just us, well, it was just England, Albion, that was our fascist name now, we're to restore the Norman Empire, don't ask about that, we restored that apparently. It was just us, our puppet Prussia, Saxony, and India, that was the Allies at the time. And the European Defensive League was France, Belgium, Piedmont, Sardinia, Greece, Bulgaria, Canada, the United, and the United States and Aquitania. But as the war dragged on and we started to win more and more, the Allies was joined by the fascist... Well, fascist Bavaria, Gross Bayern, I think, and the state of Aragon, who is fighting the anarchist of Spain and a very convoluted Spanish civil war at this point. So they join our faction. We had the Barbarians join our faction, and we had the state of Aragon join the Allies. Also, I forgot to mention we have Schleswig Holstein as part of the Allies. The Duchy of Schleswig Holstein is a puppet of Saxony. And then later on into the war, we entered into another phase where the Confederate Civil War sort of spilled over into a world war, so to speak, caused the Confederated States of America, who was fascist, joined our faction, and their enemy, in the, in the Civil War they're having, the Confederacy of the American States, joined the European Defensive League. And in Part 4, with that war taking place, we defeated France, Belgium, Aquitania, and we're about to beat up Piedmont Sardinia, who seems to have a lot of American divisions defending it, I think. But after we do that, we're probably going to go help the Arag Aragonese, or Catalonia, it's basically Catalonia. We're going to help them in their war with anarchists as just sort of a side mission, I guess. And they are fighting Portugal, so maybe if we beat the anarchists, we can get Carlos Spain and Maximalist Portugal into our faction just by circumstance. They'll want to join us. We have some research slots available. Let's start researching improved infantry equipment, too. It is 1939. As England, we have a massive military, massive army at this point, massive navy, massive air force. And let's use all of our air force now that was in France. Take them down to what is the Alpine region and just smash apart the defenses of Piedmont Sardinia. And so they're going to move down there. And if we defeat Piedmont Sardinia, we're basically going to be done in Europe. I've got to do. And that's going to be our current objective. Get rid of these encircled units. And what was France? Take them out. These are one, a couple free French armored divisions and a free French infantry division. Defeat them, then we're going to make a move and strike down Piedmont Sardinia even more before the Americans can keep reinforcing their positions here. Let's get into Genoa. We need to get into Genoa. That's what we got to do. Genoa, whatever. Get there. Also, Greece is part, of, is part of the European Defensive League, so of course they have troops here, but they're not a major member, I think. To win this war, we need to defeat only the Americans at this point, so after we're done in Europe, we're going to go help the Confederated States of America with their conflict. Actually, let's leave one army in Genoa. And, yeah, keep the first army down here, get rid of all these orders. We have a very convoluted battle plan with offensive lines at this moment. But we're going to fix that. They're a little messed up because we had some very confusing front lines in our invasion of France, Belgium, and Aquitania. But we're going to get that resolved now. Have the first English army stick to Genoa and just push there where they can. Had overwhelmed, overwhelmed Piedmont Sardinia. We're going to send the rest of the. We're going to send the third English army, the fourth English army, and the fifth English army down into Iberia, where we're going to help the Aragonese, well, Catalonia, and the Portuguese fight back the anarchists. We may get the Carlos in our faction as a result, but we'll see. India wants to join us in a war. Sure, India can help us. And India, in the early part of this series, we had India. The Allies. We went fascist. Okay, we had a fascist coup in England. The Allies existed at the start of this series, and many of the countries left the Allies. But for some reason, India decided to stay with us. So for a long time, the Allies was just India and England. Then we had Prussia and Saxony. We had Saxony, then we had Prussia. We had to conquer Prussia. They are our puppet. We had to defeat them, join the faction. Now we have even more members of this faction. Now, who wants to join? Who is this? Carlos Spain. Sure, join. Join. Get in here. There we are. And let's declare war on the on the anarchists very soon. Carlos, are part of our faction, will help them take control more of Spain once our units are in position here. We've got to get all of our armies ready before we intervene in the war 
with the anarch. Oh, we already are finding them. Okay, start start attacking them. We're having to defend Gibraltar while the advance is going on. The second English army, which is just a Gibraltar defense force, holding out in Gibraltar. We're advancing hard into the territory of the anarchists. We have the aggressive battle plan execution taking place, and we hope to conquer this place for an anarchist. And what are they doing? They con they called in. They're trying to get. They join. They have no faction. Okay, so that's gonna be over, I reckon. Can you join our faction? You want to join? Maximus Portugal? They say no. Okay, they don't. They don't want to join. All right. Well, we gave them a choice. Now let's have this order activated here. Push into Piedmont, Sardinia. Get rid of them. Kick them out of the war. Then once that's over, we're gonna go help out with Aragon and the Carlos Spain in the Spanish Civil War. Basically, defeat Piedmont, Sardinia. They're gonna lose Genoa real quick. Maybe. We have tons of air support in the air in the Alpine region at this point, so we should overwhelm them. Yes, we are. Oh, they're in the wrong area. That's not helping. Now be in the Alpine region, please. Yeah, air, close air support is dominating everyone. Free military factories. Let's make more... What is it? Make more... Let me look here. Close air support planes. We need to probably get more... Tech, oh, we have some missing equipment production. Never mind. What are we missing? Naval bombers. We're trying to make naval bombers. We're getting there. Let's just make more close air support, though. We need to upgrade our close air support tech, though at the moment we are using Hectors, which are... Okay, actually, no, they're relatively modern. It is 1939, though, so we'll have to get to using Typhoons now. Unpause, though, and we're pushing back to Anarchist. Gibraltar is holding out for now. Let's have them use the last stand order. We're really crushing Anarchist here, who are being overwhelmed by the Allies and the Portuguese, who are sandwiching them. Carlos Spain sort of fell, but it's whatever. After this conflict is over, they're probably going to get a large portion of Spain under their control. If we can just get to Madrid, that would be great. What is the war score here? What do we need? What do we need? What's this about over here in the background? Let me see that. Piedmont Sardinia capitulated? Okay. And let's send this army down into... What can we do with them? I don't know. Just keep them where they are for now. And let's stop our navy from patrolling in the English Channel. They're pretty much done here. Don't need to do nothing at this point in time. Just have them merge with this reserve fleet, our stack of ships. Almost 200 some vessels, well, more than 200 vessels, 264 ships there in that one death stack of a fleet. We're pushing more into Spain, into Iberia. Let's get to Granada. Valencia has already fallen. Keep expanding the English offensive into Spain. It's continuing. Doctrines available. We're going to get battlefield support because close air support is great in Hearts of Iron 4. We have now reached Portuguese lines in this war with the, what is this, the Regional Defense Council of Aragon that doesn't control Aragon. I guess maybe the state of Aragon wanted to fight anarchists because they were using their name and it was not really them doing anything. Carlos Spain has won the Civil War and we have them part of our faction now, so that's great. So we effectively have a new powerful faction member in Spain. Sadly though, I think they're going to have to recover from their Civil War, but that's fine. Now let's send all of the English army to the... Americas. Well, except for the Gibraltar Defense Force. They just stay in Gibraltar. That's what they've been doing the entire time. Send them off to the Confederate Confederated States of America and we'll help them out with their civil war efforts against the Ally well, the European Defensive League member of the Confederacy of the American States. They have a very similar flag to the United States. And speaking of the United States, they're relatively weak due to their country size. They only have 45 divisions at most. We just have to beat the United States. We don't got to worry about Canada. But we would like to defeat Canada because they have land that we want. Let's get more factories on, I guess, and naval bombers. Get that started, get some more technology. I mean, resources as well. We have tungsten, we don't need more tungsten. I mean, we have, what am I saying? We have plenty of aluminum, we don't need more aluminum. Let's stop trading for that as much. We don't need it as badly now. Let's get some rubber from Indonesia, though. There we are. And get a little bit of aluminum. No, that is tungsten. But our all bar armies are going to the Americas now, to North America. In particular, the English are going back. And let's send all of our navy there as well once they're done. Well, let's have them repair in the American South. I reckon they could do that. And so the entire English navy is heading out to the Americas once they're done repairing. Okay, now they're going. French collaborators is done. A focus in our focus tree is complete. We're going to do... What can we do? We're practically done with our political part of the focus tree. Let's do maybe stuff in the army part of the focus tree now. Do British army effort. Complete that. No air wings or doing nothing. Oh, that's an HMS Furious, whatever. Let's send all of our air force to the Confederated States of South Ameri America territory. And they're going to be set up in Louisiana. That's an, our entire air force. 
we gotta probably break them up a little bit because we're gonna have too many planes for that particular for that particular what is it that particular area and all of our divisions are gonna have to arrive are they getting there yes they had to cross the Atlantic Ocean so it will take them some time to arrive in North America we have some research slots available get recon company two and start researching what is it research Blenheim cause to do that non-aggression pact offer from Turkey sure don't know why we'd want that but it doesn't really matter to me and let's get more guns made more artillery more guns more equipment for the infantry free dockyards let's start making more destroyers I guess yeah that will work air wings with no missions and they're in Louisiana now let's have them do some close air support to back up our allies or have them move their positions slightly now let's have them stay where they are they're just gonna be in a golf golf coast doing damage a little bit of damage try to establish air superiority here would be ideal just fight for air superiority at all cost and there we are it's green air we have green air that should help our allies that are fighting in Florida and the Confederate Civil War until the British Confederate War broke out was in kind of a stalemate the Confederate Confederated States of America had pushed back the Confederacy of the American States to Tennessee and North Carolina and South Carolina and Florida but they weren't really getting nowhere and due to the whole war well our world war taking place the confederates i think sent some troops to our to aid us so they started losing ground in florida that's a recent development free military factories well some are available let's get some more fighters and we got to try and get our all of our squadrons upgraded to modern fighters as soon as possible our divisions should be arriving in the americas very soon we'll have more divisions ready ourselves Let's recruit more divisions. We'll train more divisions, actually. Maybe get a second tank brigade. We'll get a couple tank brigades. We have, I think, a few of them that got to be made. We're going to make three tank brigades. We'll do that. And we probably should upgrade our tanks. I don't know what, we upgrade, what we'll upgrade them to. We could do that. But they're going to be deployed eventually in a conflict. And our troops are going to have to set up shop by... We're going to get using a port in Georgia. We're going to get ready to advance into the territory of the Confederated States of America there is a naval invasion taking place great so let's send in our troops here who are fighting okay yeah that is a United States naval invasion that's a little concerning let's have our Navy establish naval superiority in Louisiana where's our Navy where are they at where do they go they're in the Dominican Republic oh we have docking rights down there but just establish break up the troops here half the select split the forces in half one of you go to the Florida coast please and the other one go to Go to where? Go to the. Go to the Gulf of Mexico, and so that's what the English fleet's going to be up to. I don't know how strong the American Navy is going to be. Mexican oil nationalized, do whatever. I don't really care. And we have someone justifying on us, maybe. Yeah, justification against by Greece. Greece is justifying us. We're justifying on us. We're in a war with you already. What can you possibly do? Whatever. Free military factories. Let's start making some more artillery. We've got to make a load of guns. A load of already guns. Air wings with no missions. They're in Louisiana. It's sort of crowded here. So let's have one squadron leave the area. They're standing by. Start doing some more missions. Have our planes going to the Florida coast and Gulf of Mexico to start taking out any ships they could see. Our naval bombers will be doing that anyway. And we have a lot of troops, a lot of planes in the air now in the southern United States in the Gulf Coast air region. We should have air superiority. Let's move one squadron out of Louisiana and send them to an air base in Georgia because it's too crowded in Louisiana. And invite an invitation to the Herculean Convention. Sure. What is this about? Expect us there. It's going to be if we, if we agree to attend, there is a significant chance that in the near future we'd be dragged into a war with Turkey in exchange for territory there. We, you would be destabilizing the Mediterranean. So what do they want? To readdress the treaties of us, which we attempted to impose on Turkey. Officials, okay, we don't really care about stuff relating to Greece because Greece is in a war with us. Free military factories, make more guns. Free, we can modify our government. Now let's get industrial concern. Let's select AILC, unassigned divisions. Send them to the 5th English Army. And let's have our orders already. Are these units in position yet? No, they are not. Okay. And supply appears to be an issue, but it's whatever. More units are arriving in the south, in the US south. We do have naval superiority probably in this region. We also have air superiority to help our allies hold on to Florida as much as they can. And now, is our, all of our troops in position? Let's begin to push now. Push. A wild ace appears, and here we are. Here comes the British while the English are striking hard 
into, into the defensive lines of the enemy. Army 4, there we are. I wonder if we can get a possible naval invasion on the Americans. We may not need it, though. If we can get another army set up, we could possibly do that. Free military factories, put them on guns. We have doctrines available. Let's get maybe, let's get armored operations. We'll do that. And what are our planes up to? We have some planes that are nothing, apparently. Available planes in reserve. Okay, so let's deploy them to Louisiana, I mean Georgia. Get an air squadron out there. Get some interwar bombers, some Whitley bombers. And they're going to be available. And start bombing everything, please. Deploy them to do close air support in the East Coast air space. So let's send in the four squadrons of the RAF, close air support and fighters, to start trying to take out defenses in the East Coast where we're pushing along. And we're still trying to hold the airspace everywhere else in this theater of war in the USA. Well, in North America, put this factory on guns. We had a free military factory. You know what we would do with that. You can figure what we did with that. But anyway, let's research now for technology. Let's research the... Can we, what can we research? Research the Bryn Mark I and ML 3-inch mortar. So if we keep getting civilian fa military factories, we're going to constantly keep having them go to artillery and to the manufacture of more firearms because our infantry divisions really go through that stuff quickly. And we got to change our Whitley bombers to Wellington bombers now. Put some factories on that when we have them available. And on pause, we're pushing hard into the territory of the Confederated, no, the Confederacy of American States now. You probably weren't expecting our planes to just overwhelm their lines. Let's move more bombers in here. Can we do that, please? Okay, move them into Appalachia. Have a few close air support. So if they're Mexican compensation, whatever that's about. Okay, so let's move a squadron of the RAF into the Appalachian Mountains. Well, a fighter squadron anyway. We already have close air support up there. But we need more planes available just to give us more close air support and fighter support overall. No national focus set. Let's do, for our, our national focus, let's complete motor mechanization effort, whatever. Doctrines available. That's relating to airplanes, battlefield support. Let's get dive bombing unlocked. That is done. Available planes in reserve. What else can we do with them? Do we even have enough room here? I guess we could put some planes in Oklahoma. Put some fighters in Oklahoma, I guess, some gladiators. They're just reserve planes. Get a few more squadrons with the RAF set up the 21st and the 19th. And let's get a few more. Just five squadrons of fighters using the high planes. They're interwar era fighters. Just have air superiority here. I don't know if there's much of a fight in the skies in this region, but we're going to have it dominated regardless. We need more fuel also. I'm noticing we are running out of fuel trying to use our Navy and our Air Force. Let's take off a lot of factories here from the Confederated States of America and just pour it all into oil. Just give us tons and tons of oil. Like, we need tons of factories on that. Just oil, 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 oil. Okay, that's a lot of oil. I don't know if it's enough oil. Is it enough oil? Let me check how many factories I even have available. We have over 15. we got to make that at least five more factories. Put at least five more factories on oil. So there we go. Okay, there, there. It's gonna be enough for us. We're having tons of oil or fuel flow into the English reserves now. And it's being used up constantly to fuel our war machine, but that's what we have to do to secure a victory here against the Confederacy of American States, who's gonna to have to fight against our airplanes, our army, and everything else. And how is the American Navy doing? Are they present? Okay, we just lost a bunch of ships to the American Navy, so evident they are evidently they are present. Let's actually, due to that, merge our Navy together. Just send them to, let's stop these missions and merge these fleets back together to try and overwhelm any kind of American resistance. Send them maybe to South Carolina, a naval base there, and where they're gonna merge back together to form that giant death stack we initially had them in before we sailed to the USA. We have three divisions here, send them off to the 5th English Army where they'll be pushing in South Carolina and we are getting out of Charleston. We took Charleston. We are pushing through hard because our close air support is really helping us out here. Doctrine's available. Let's get convoy sailing, maybe. Provisional government of Free France, they're not ready yet. Provisional government of Belgium, they're not ready yet. Don't worry about it. We can deal with the resistance. We have tons of manpower and we can just handle that. Insufficient resource, we need more tungsten. Okay, get one more factory from the Portuguese, I reckon. That will work. And even though we are getting so much oil from the Confeder Confederated States of America, it's just not enough. We need more oil. We need 200, 200 mounds of oil. We need all the oil in the world to maintain. Okay, there we go. Our war machine is looking better there. 
and yeah, that's going to work. We're getting, we're now going up in terms of oil use. We can't possibly use that much oil. And there we are. We're pushing hard into Appalachia now, which is being overwhelmed. These two, a huge amount of confederated, confederate, no, confederacy of the American state troops are being overwhelmed. And they are going to be encircled and they're going to be destroyed more than likely by the British, by the English and the fascist confederate troops. And yeah, this battle is going to be won here. That's a lot of divisions that's just going to disappear in Nashville due to that encirclement in Tennessee. That is just brutal. Piedmont Sardinia has called in Mexico to join in the war. Now we've got to go have the Confederates. Can they fight them? Please, you guys can fight this. You got this. We'll put another army down there when possible. Provisional government of the Yucatan Republic don't need it. Send a tank division, armor division off to help the... Help the... What is it? Help the... Fourth, no, the fifth English army. We also had another Prussian division that was just sitting around doing nothing. They'll come help us, though. And I can't believe Mexico joined the enemy faction. I mean, wow. But I mean, at least the Confederated States of America can deal with them while we're pushing back their opponent in the Civil War. We are gaining a lot of ground. Tennessee is crumbling. The troops in Nashville are encircled. They're fighting on, but it's not going to be enough. Unread naval battle results. And we had a victory occur there. The, the Americans lost some ships. Let's merge back these units. Are they repairing? Are they doing that? Are they repairing anything at all? No? Okay, let's just do patrol in the Florida coast then to dominate that region with our navy. If we encounter any enemy resistance on the seas, we should be able to smash them apart with the might of the English navy. And we are pushing into Virginia. The American, the Confederacy of American States are crumbling at this point. We are reaching the United States of America's, you know, you, you, what am I saying? The United States of America's territory here. There's a lot of Americas in this mod and this playthrough. The world was fragmented, so we had the Confederacy. Initially, it was just the Confederacy, the United States, the unaligned states of America, and the Pacific, and the Pacific states of America. But then the Confederacy Civil War happened, and there was five Americas, and once the Civil War, there will be four again. And we're going to continue pushing here, push into America now, I mean, to the USA. We've got to beat these troops in Tennessee once and for all. That is so many units, they're just going to be gone. This is a brutal manpower loss for the Confederacy of American states. And the Confederated States of America, the Confederacy and the Allies, is holding off the Mexican advance in Texas. I think they gained some ground, actually. It seems like they could have done it, or no, they lost a province. Okay, never mind. Division is freed up. This is the Reserve Division of Prussia. Send them off to the 5th English Army, where they'll be pushing more into Virginia. Doctrine's available. Let's research, get infiltration assault for the Army Doctrine we have. Grand Battle Plan or whatever. Industries freed up. Let's get concentrated industry four, even though that would take a while. Modified government. Let's get a ship designer. Let's have maybe Atlantic Fleet designer. And that will give us a buff to our carriers and our capital ships. Which as England we have a lot of. Well, as the restored Norman Empire, we have a lot of. And let's continue pushing now. We unpause, free dockyards, start constructing more. Canada seeks immediate paturation. Okay, whatever and get more dockyards to, to build stuff. Let's build a town class cruiser, cause why not? That's be ready in 1941. It's cool, doctrines available for our Air Force direct ground support. That's gonna be done now. And the war is over in Tennessee. Those units gone circled. Let's look at the manpower losses. That is pretty brutal. They took a whopping, they're at a whopping 882,000 losses at this point in terms of casualties. They have lost a lot of men. And our side has lost 1.4 million troops Meanwhile, the European Defensive League has lost 1.31 million, so they are losing in terms of manpower casualties there. We're performing better than they are in that regard. Let's have these units group up again with the first, well, our army group and push hard with the first English army, the third English army, and the fourth and fifth English armies. There we are. Have a order set up for a battle line and advance into the USA. We're also going to have to get our air force repositioned to help out there. And can we do that? Yes, we are. We have a lot of... We took an air, air base in... What is this? Virginia. That's going to let us have a lot of planes there. So they're going to focus entirely on the East Coast as soon as possible. Move more, plane, move more planes there, please. And set up to attack the East Coast. Just dominate that region. The provisional government of Piedmont Sardinia. They don't need to do anything yet. Get one squadron here. Move to a different air base in North Carolina. So we don't crowd that air base too much in Virginia. Just move some more stuff around. And once we're ready to go, we're just going to dominate everything. Let's have these planes here that are doing naval bomber stuff. Just defend the, just look at the eastern seaboard and the Florida coast. 
And now, with our troops in position, almost, or they're still getting in position, we have free military factories. Free military factories, put it on, I don't know, more guns, more planes, more everything, really. More fighters, we'll do it on fighters. We'll just do that. Get some more factories on guns and artillery, because we gotta upgrade stuff constantly. Military, we gotta set a national focus, armor effort, why not? I'm just clicking on stuff at this point, because it really does, honestly doesn't matter what we click on there. Artillery, that's good, maybe improved artillery upgrade too. And insufficient resources, we gotta get some rubber. Let's get that from Khmer to Greater Khmer Empire in Southeast Asia. And okay. And what's this about justification? Okay, Greece is justifying against us, whatever. And at this point, thanks to all of our trading, we're only... Okay, we're doing pretty good with civilian factories and building stuff. But anyway, back to the war with the European Defensive League. Let the great operation begin. Operation Cornwallis is a go. Here comes the English advance through Virginia. And we're pushing up into Norfolk and into West Virginia. Someone wants to join our faction. Who is this? Legionary Romania. They were being guaranteed by the... They were being guaranteed by Free France, but they want to join our faction. Sure, you can join. I guess you can fight the Bulgarians who are part of the European Defensive League. But welcome to the club. Join the faction. There we are. And if you're down there, you're going to be fighting them alone, for the record. You're going to be fighting Bulgaria, Greece, and whatever's left of Piemont, Sardinia, who is stuck in Albania. We can't really send support to you either. They want to join a war? Sure, they can join the war. They have joined us in the war. And they're going to be pushing into Bulgaria. Wow, they're making a lot of progress. They're going to be keeping the Greeks occupied, though. And so we're pushing into the United States now. We have overtaken all the defenses in Virginia. We've got to redo our lines once again, our battle lines. Great, so let's get this set up. There we are. And get ready to push into the United States and into Canada. We have to smash into New England and give it to England once this war is over. And Cornwallis, the Operation Cornwallis, is still on the books. And Operation Cornwallis is just our plan for smashing apart and, and crushing the United States of America who is just sort of not as powerful as they would be in 1940 as they were. And they're not as strong as they were in real life at this point. Add some more divisions to the, to the what? To the second, no, the third English army. And add another division, infantry division to the fourth English army. That is done. Doctrine's available. Let's get maybe, get what is this? Formation fighting. We'll do that. We're doing that. And our push is continuing. Bulgaria has capitulated. Wow, the Romanians are making a lot of progress. Let's start the advance now. Go, go, go. Just smash apart the American defenses. They're whatever they have. Send some more fighters over here. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Send them to the air base we have in North Carolina. And just fight for control of the skies in the eastern coast. There we are. So some RAF, RAF squadrons are fighting to secure control. There you can see there's a lot of fighting going on in the skies. We are overwhelming the enemy, so we should have... Yeah, there we, there we go. We have air superiority now. And the Americans are going to have to deal with our advance. We are pushing hard into West Virginia, and we're trying to get into Washington, D.C. America has, like, what? The USA has 19 divisions there, but England is making progress. Now let's start researching Spitfires. We have some more divisions available. Well, one division, one new division has been deployed. Send them off to the 5th English Army. Ace pilot promoted, whatever. And checking in on the Confederated States of America and their front with Mexico. They are making some progress, I think. They stopped their... Advance. We are pushing past West Virginia now. Now we're going into what is Ohio. We just finished researching, I think, the Blin, the Mark, the, what is it called? The support equipment, the Bryn Mark 1 and the Mark ML 3 inch mortar. That is done. So now let's start researching possibly the, let me see here. Let's get maybe another support company. Possibly, maybe, I don't know. We'll get a train upgrade. We'll do that. We do, do need another train upgrade. We'll get the WD Austerity 2 80. Ohio, Ohio is falling to the English troops that are moving in there. Cleveland is going to fall to us. So is Columbus. We are reaching Columbus, Ohio, which is part of the USA. It's going to go down. And there is some free, no, some Mexican troops defending Cleveland from the English advance. But it's not going to be enough. We'll overwhelm them, given enough time. And we are having supply issues now due to the sheer amount of troops involved in this War and this front. Can Canada joined the European Defensive League. Why would you join? You left and joined? You were already part of the faction. Why'd you leave? Canada joined the United States in the war. Okay, so what do we need to even win at this point? We just need to beat the United States, right? Oh, Canada left the faction, I think. And so they're not part of it anymore, even though they're still in the war. So we gotta defeat Canada now, individually. Great, so. I don't know why they made that decision. That was a mistake. Keep pushing into the Americas. There we are. 
our supplies, we're having supply issues, and I wish the Confederated States of Mexico would just go fight Mexico because we're already eating up a lot of supply in the region we're in, but it's whatever. How is our air superiority doing? It's been established, now we need more air superiority, I reckon, probably in, well, we have the East Coast air superiority locked down for sure, but it's whatever. Let's get a new national focus, let's get equipment effort. And we're also going to get more doctrine stuff research for battlefield support for our air doctrine. Let's get Soviet Chinese pact that's been, it took place, we've got an event about that. Hunt and destroy, ace pilot, whatever, let me get this please, there we are. We have some planes available in reserve. Can we get more planes out in the field? Maybe they can be deployed in Mississippi. I hope they're tactical bombers. Okay, we don't have enough planes. We have more close air support though, actually, so we could maybe use them in Appalachia, Appalachia. Whatever, they're gonna be up in the air very soon. We just gotta get the troops over there. And I'm surprised even though how big this war is, we still have plenty of manpower. We do have cores on Normandy and cores on parts of the USA, but I don't believe we control that right now. Let's send these planes up in the sky have three squadrons of close air support in Appalachia, fine against, I think, some enemy close air, no, tactical bombers and close air support as well, apparently. We did take Washington. Can we get out of Washington? We just got to get past there. Go here, please. A lot of American troops. Maybe we should pause for a second. Or no, let's just keep up the offensive. A few new army tank divisions are available. Brigades, I mean, I mean, army tank brigades are available. Send them to the 5th English Army. And so we'll have now almost 100 divisions pushing against the United States. We have a breakthrough here, almost. I think we did, or no, we don't. There's just one American division holding that one province. We're going to be overwhelmed, and there we are. More divisions are available. Sixth Infantry Division, send them to the 5th English Army, along with this division. And at this point, let's actually take our units away from Gibraltar, because they're not really doing anything. That Gibraltar Defense Force, I think, they serve their purpose in that area. So let's send them down to form a front line against Mexico and help the Confederated States of America hold out against the United Mexican States while we're crushing and pushing back against the United States of America. And we have made our way into Pennsylvania almost. We have Pennsylvania as a course say we do need to get Pennsylvania. Let's go to New New York now. The Confederated States of America is giving us troops here to push on this front. Military factories, build more of them. Let's get a huge queue of them built up. There we are. Keep building stuff in England, Wales, wherever. Just build more factories so I don't have to worry about those not being in use. There we are. We have some resistance. It's whatever, though. We have nearly a million manpower. doesn't really matter. We do have Pennsylvania as a core. We also have New York as a core. New Jersey as a core, I think, or no. Whatever. I think the Confederates ended up getting it. It's whatever, though. Can we get into New York? we got to get there. We are pushing back even more now. Are we advancing? We're getting out of Ohio. Let's take Buffalo, New York. That's going to be captured. And New York City is holding out for now, but they're probably going to be surrounded at the current rate of things. Let's go to Boston, capture that when we can. Free military factories. We have one military factory there. Let's put them on guns, put more on guns. Just do that. There's just so much stuff I've got to keep track of in terms of, in terms of microwing production. We constantly have vic vactor factories being built all the time. And let's get... Can we change our mobilization? Well, I should have done that earlier, but let's get partial mobilization now. And we can't get war economy, but it's whatever. And can you believe this whole war is being waged? Oswald Mosley, who has his... He has a leader trait called Champion of Peace. Obviously, invading several countries in a war that spans... What is this now? Two continents. I'm not sure if that's a Champion of Peace, to be honest with you. But it's whatever. And that's over. We won our big war. We still have Canada left. But let's take over what we have cores on take over the cores, get the cores in the United States. What do we have cores on here? Boston, well, New England, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, let's get Maryland. Let's get all of the USA, just take it all. West Virginia, get all that. And let's get our cores in France, as many as possible. Normandy, that's done, just keep taking everything we can, as much as we can in the peace treaties in turn. And we do have to get the Confederate states are gonna be taking some stuff, probably in the United Mexican states a lot, yeah. We're just going to let them have the entire United Mexican States. We did take the USA, though, so it's fine. Let's take over Belgium. All of Belgium will now belong to England. Well, it was anyway. Forget that for now. Let's take over more of France. We have claims on it. In turn, pass. Take over all of Belgium. That's done. Get Lourdes, Poitiers, Center, Center Sud, South Center, whatever. Bargoon. And where is this? France, whatever. Get that. 
Get this. And is Greece part of this trick? This peace deal? Yes, they are. So I guess Romania is going to take over all of Bulgaria. I think they did do that. Possibly. It's only us and the trade. Or no, the Confederated States of America puppeted them. Okay, well, we took over. Why did I even leave? Oh, wait, no. Did they. I'm not sure what the Confederated States of America did. Whatever. Okay, let's get more of France, get Aquitania, Bordeaux, Aquitaine, all that. Alvijon, the Alps, Savoy. It's all going to belong to the restored Norman Empire once this war is over, but once this peace conference has ended. Let's pass here, take that, take this, take that, take that. Or try to, if I have enough war score to do it. Greece has become a subject of the Confederates, whatever. Intern, please, can I intern? Yes, intern. Do I have no more war score? Pass, take that, take that. And that's done. Can we get anyone as a puppet? Satellite Albania, that is done. And let's get, I guess, take all the states in Greece. Because the Normans in the Middle Ages, who we are supposed to be like, we already restored Norman Empire. The Normans in the Middle Ages, how to say, had a tendency to just sort of show up in places you wouldn't really expect them. For some historical knowledge, for example, the Normans were essentially descendants of Vikings that lived in France, and they took, eventually had a kingdom, they eventually controlled England, and they also controlled Sicily. Well, it's Naples right now, but they controlled the Kingdom of Sicily initially, and they also had the Principality of Antioch. They had a lot of places the Normans were at. They also had a little piece of land in, I think, Greece, but what I'm saying is, by taking over distant lands, distant lands that aren't really part of England or have any real history with England, well, being a part of England anyway, we're emulating the Normans of yore, and that's fine with us because we already restored Norman Empire. And at this point, the only country we have to defeat is Canada, who's probably not going to be that hard of a war. Honestly, they're not in a faction or anything. But I am going to have to end this video here. This has been part five of my fascist England playthrough in Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Focus Trees for Leasable Nations. You can check out the mod in the video description. The link is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and, make sure to like and subscribe. And part six of this series will be on its way.